What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. Bobby Hayes, we in the building today. We're going to talk about and ask the question, was Justin Fields snubbed by not being a pro bowler? We're also going to talk about updates to Cody Whitehair and Tevin Jenkins and their availability versus the Bills. And then the NFL has signed a new uh, contract for Sunday ticket. We're going to break that down, talk about what that could mean right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, Bobby. Justin Fields. Yo. Matter of fact, let's not just say Justin Fields. The Bears have no Pro Bowl representation, and this is for the, the first time. And I think they said, I think it was three or five, three or four years, something like that. Um, crazy, but one man. of the biggest, yeah, it's crazy, bro. One of the biggest things. I mean, we're we're a three win team, so you know, outside of the fandom, but we've had some pretty damn good pl- uh, players this season. But Justin Fields being snubbed. Um, there's been a couple of people uh, in 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 the media that said that Justin Fields is the biggest snub as far as Pro Bowlers. How do you feel about Justin Fields not making the Pro Bowl? Now, just for a uh, comparison as well, um, the the NFC quarterbacks that made it were Jalen Hurts, Geno Smith, and Kirk Cousins. What do you think, bro? I mean, I get it. Uh, I get like I'm not mad at the the three that were selected. But you could definitely argue that without Justin Fields, the Bears have nothing. <laughs> like the man has, he's been electrifying. If we, if we didn't have Justin Fields, we wouldn't even be watching the bit. Well, we'll probably watch, but we'll probably be in shouting matches every single day, on every single daily show, and every single game, just cussing the Bears out. Like, what are we doing? This guy, whoever it was, looks like Rex Grossman, or you know, something like that. <laughs> but. I can't really be mad at it because if you think about it, the Eagles' best regular NFL, Kirk Cousins, you know, won a division, and Geno Smith is having a resurgence. So can't really be mad at it, but I definitely feel like uh, he at least should have got some consideration for what the hell he's been doing in the NFC, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 I You know, I mean, I can't. Just because we're a three-win team and because, you know, Justin Fields does have room to grow, um, I can't really – argue it too much i do think he should have been been higher in the in consideration in voting like what did we say we talked about yes he finished eighth in quarterback right now that's just yeah that's stupid. crazy to me yeah it's great there, yeah but i mean at the end of the day is this we know this ain't the end of the road justin fields is going to be a pro bowl and he's going to have a lot of pro bowls uh in his future that's just what it boils down to y'all can hold him out now but you know it, it kind of is what it is uh it, it now with Justin Fields, like we said, it's it's not over. It's not the end of his career. He got so much room left Facts. as long as the Bears find him a goddamn offensive line and keep him from being <laughs> sacked 50 times a season Facts. going forward. Um, and this comes off the hills, too. And one of the interesting things, I didn't put this necessarily on the list. I don't know if you saw it or not. But Von Miller actually said that Justin Fields has the potential to be one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, bro. What do you think about accolades like that coming from Von Miller? I mean, bro, like, since they played the Eagles every single day, there's a new uh, comment coming out from Eagles players who who are on a great team. Was like, man, Justin Fields is great talent. Justin Fields is doing this. Justin Fields is a beast. We've been hearing that. And then if you're looking at, you know, the skill set with the running and then ability to have great passing skills, um, I believe he still has a little bit of room to grow, but – when he came back after that injury to his shoulder, he was predominantly, you know, a pocket passer. And he showed yeah. these guys what he can do. And uh, if you're asking me, he's the most talented Bears quarter- quarterback in their history. He still got some work to do to solidify that of being the best. But I definitely see what Von Miller is saying. And Von Miller is a Hall of Famer. So if they can see it, people like us that just watch the game for fun and then come out here, talk shit and cuss people out. Hey, it just boosts it up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely think he has the potential. I mean, like I say a lot over on other podcasts to do, just because he has the potential doesn't mean all potential is realized, but Justin Fields has shown so much this season, bro. And if you get him the weapons, if you get him the protection, um, I think it's only going to be a matter of time before where we're not only talking about Justin Fields is one of the best quarterbacks currently in the NFL, we're talking about he's one of the best all time in the game. I definitely think he has the potential to do so. It's up to him in large part to maintain and keep up and progress. But it's also up to the organization to make sure that they put the right weapons around him to where he's talking about in that light. I don't care how great of a quarterback you are. You're not going to be talked about. You're not going to be getting in Pro Bowls if you don't have the weapons necessary in the scheme and coaches that put you in the proper position. And hopefully Justin Fields 
has that. We've seen flashes of what this organization, what their goal is, what the offense could look like. And, you know, with those things combined, if everything comes together in the way this offseason that we think that it can, it could be a great offseason for the Chicago. I mean, a great uh, season for the Chicago Bears next season and a great career for Justin Fields if he has that synergy with a coach. If the front office just continues like to be willing to put up put, to pay the money that it's gonna take mm-hmm. to keep these bears or to put these bears in that in that level of competition. So hopefully it's a bright future and that we're talking about we're hopefully this is the last season that we're complaining about the weapons and lack of thereof for Justin Facts. Fields, and we can just focus on the football on the field for him. Facts because you see what they're doing to Lamar Jackson. The only real weapon that he yeah. that he has is uh Mark Andrews over there. But uh Hayes, I gotta bring it up. No, no consideration for the Pro Bowl for Jaquan Brisker, bro. I gotta, I got, I gotta give you the facts, brother. He was, he was, uh, Buddha Baker was selected over Jaquan Brisker. Uh, Baker played 14 games, Brisker played 12 games, giving you 74 tackles, three sacks, which leads the team, which is ridiculous. <laughs> leads the team, got you a tackle for loss, a pass deflection, and an interception. Now, comparable to Baker, he got 102 tackles, one forced fumble, uh, six pass deflections, and two interceptions. So the damn numbers are comparable. And then my boy played two less games. No consideration? Yeah. Come on, man. I think I think it's because the Bears' defense overall has been so questionable this season that, that people just kind of overlook it. Now, he did finish in the top 10 voting in his position as well, so shout out to Jaquan Brisker in his rookie year to be able to do that. Um, mm-hmm. But J- uh, Jaquan Brisker, must like with Justin Fields, you're only going to be able to keep him out so long because the ability he's shown already to be a playmaker, you're going to have a, a hard test in front of you. You're going to keep picking a bunch of people over Jaquan Brisker to be Thanks. in the damn Pro Bowl. That's what I can tell you there because um, he deserves it. He deserves it. I say Absolutely. next year, I'm looking Jaquan. I'm saying right now, Jaquan Brisker, Justin Fields, Darnell Mooney, and Cole Komet are all pro bowlers for the Bears next season. I, I can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. All right. So let's go, baby. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's go. Speaking into existence, man. All right, moving on. So it's it's Cody White here and Tevin Jenkins. Even though we got a promising injury report on Tevin Jenkins, they're not expected to play Saturday against the Bills. What do you think this means for the Chicago Bears uh, offensive line that has already been struggling this year? Tevin Jenkins has been our most consistent and best offensive lineman by most people's estimation and opinions. How, how, how big does this hurt the Chicago Bears going into Saturday's game against the Bills? It hurts them because now this is the eighth <laughs> different starting yeah. uh, offensive line that the Bears got to trot out here. Um, and then we already know these a couple guys getting blown up. And now you got a defense that's pretty damn good over there in Buffalo that wants to hit our guy. Man, look, the, the same rule that went out last week, same rule applies this week. If you got to hold them, hold them, goddamn. And <laughs> you got to protect this man. <laughs> and y'all didn't do so great with holding last week because my man's got hit six yeah. times, six sacks. So let's be better. Take the under. Come on now. Y'all, y'all got to get right. Protect our guy, but it okay. sucks, man. Do you think it's going to be – would you give Alex Leatherwood the nod to start there? Um, J, uh, J. Tyree Carter is another option there. What do you, Who do you think gets the start with these players being out? Hey, you got to see what you got, man. You got to see what you got. Get these young guys a chance to play. Uh, the damn vets and Schofield and Reef ain't been doing nothing. Let's see. I mean, that – but I, I got to – from – from what has been shown, I think it's going to be some type of rotation established to see who can get, who can protect the best. I don't really like that because I want to, I rather just have people in place that's solidified at least for the entire game, let them learn, let them make a few mistakes and then see what they can do for you. Sure. But I think it's going to be a rotation no matter who starts on that line. They're going to do something. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Moving into the last topic for today. So, uh, NFL Sunday Ticket, which is, may have been the only thing keeping Direct TV alive. Now we're not a TV podcast, so we gonna move on from that. But NFL Sunday Ticket is moving to YouTube TV. This is a huge deal of uh, uh, estimated being a value of at least um, what it, what was it, two point five billion. So what that would mean is that through their NFL Sunday Ticket and other TV and streaming rights, the NFL will be making. billion a year just off those rights. 
What do you think about Sunday Ticket moving to YouTube TV? Thank you. You do. Does the NFL understand how hard it was to find a good subscription <laughs> to watch the the Bears, bro? Stop making things yeah. so hard. That stuff, we Direct TV, no shot at them. But come on, y'all. We it, you got to make the the product more accessible because the NBA, they you know they competing with the NFL and they made. They lowered the price for NBA League Pass. They made it more uh, accessible. NFL, what the hell was y'all doing keeping it so long to acting like, bro, people don't want to see it. People will pay to see it. No matter how much shit they talk, they will pay to see it. And that's one of my biggest questions. What do you think about the fact that they didn't just move that into the NFL network? Like, the NBA TV has it good, right? You, you... Do you subscribe to League Pass? You can watch it on anything, but it's it's incorporated right into the NBA app now, which is what they call yep. it. It makes it really simple to be able to watch it, stream it from any device. Why? I, 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 when I first heard this, and you know, Apple, Amazon, they were all in bidding wars for. It. There were even some reports that Netflix was was flirting with it, but they weren't willing to pay that price. But my biggest question is, why don't you just have it incorporated into the into the NFL network? I, I've never been able to understand. Bro. I don't understand it either. And another problem that NFL has, they got this thing called NFL Plus, and you can only watch yeah. on your mobile device. Bro, I got a Roku, can't watch the game. I got to watch it on my phone. That makes no sense. Where it's 2022, NFL come high at me. We can at least make, I just want I just want a fee. And then we can, you know, <laughs> get it together because that shit is stupid. Yeah, and then what's, what's even more frustrating is you can't even stream that, like, connected to your TV to stream it from your phone. Like, they, you literally have to <laughs> just so watch it on your stupid. phone, bro. Like, it's stupid. At least, league, like, League Pass, if I'm traveling and I need to watch my League Pass, I can pull it up on my phone, I can stream it to whatever the TV is on uh, in the hotel room and be good. Like, I get it. I'm Shout out to, to NFL for getting their coins. I will never shit on anybody for getting their money. But it's mm -hmm. like, I hope with, with this, the one benefit is it is if it's on YouTube TV, you can um, uh, stream things or, or, or cast things from the, the YouTube TV app to any other smart TV. So right. maybe that's an added benefit to it as well. Um, and, I, and I do like it that you don't have, because like with YouTube, with it being on YouTube TV, it's something that every single smartphone in the world ships with YouTube. Everyone, right. whether you're Android, whatever, it ships with mm -hmm. it. You have access to it from anywhere. It's just so much smarter than pairing with DirecTV, a, a, a cable service that's really trying to figure out, like, I know they have now the DirecTV Now thing where it's just an app and mm -hmm. things like that, but, like, like it's smarter. If they're not going to have it on their app, the best app that I think it have to, for it to be on is YouTube TV, bro, honestly. For real. And I, I like that they're doing it. You got to get with the times, man, because what they had had me going through to figure out how to watch the games, they was tripping. <laughs> For real. Now, what this is going to do as well, and I'm going to talk about this. We can't hear. We're not part of any network. But um, streamers. Is for people who illegally stream football games, and some of those illegal streams do make it to YouTube. It's going to be a lot easier for the YouTube and NFL now to cut down on that because since they're streaming it now, they're going to be able to directly see hey, if anybody else is streaming this, we know it's not supposed to be streamed there. We're going to shut this stream down. So if you're one of those illegal streamers who watch a game yeah. through illegal streams, like unfortunately, I have to do from time to time because the NFL network exactly. sucks. Uh, but, <laughs> but, you know, you, 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 you may have to, and, and we'll see if the price comes down some. I think that uh, before with their previous deal, they couldn't really lessen the price a little bit. I think now with the partnership with YouTube TV, we'll see how that price ends up going. But I'll tell you what, I can guarantee you, I'm going to be subscribed to YouTube TV for Sunday ticket alone now at this point. I can Thank guarantee you. you, bro, I get to watch as many football games as I want. And while we're talking about possibly starting NFL Central, <clears throat> Um, it's going to be beneficial to do that as well. So, you know. Facts. Come on now, because everybody don't like DirecTV, y'all. So, good job. Let's bro. get it together. And Let's TV, get it together. I downloaded the DirecTV now, bro. That app is so shitty, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. <laughs> Their app is so shitty, bro. Like, I, I downloaded because I had the free trial joined, and I'm an AT&T subscriber from my uh, mobile phone, and they gave it to me free for, for, I think, like three months or something. Bro, I didn't even use it for the full three-month trial. I canceled it before the three months was up, bro, because that app was <laughs> trash, bro. Trash. That's sad. Come on, so, man. So, yeah. That's sad. That's cra like, when you don't finish something free, you know it's trash, bro. For Black real, people bro. don't turn down nothing free. <laughs> Like, like, <laughs> I was literally like, try it hey, out. man, go ahead and cancel it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it, but listen, man, go ahead and cut that shit, bro. I, I don't want that. That app is trash, bro. Um, 
But yeah, shout out to the NFL for evolving and, and catching up to some of these other um I, ne- next I need I know you I don't know how much baseball you want, but I need I need Major League Baseball to step their game up next with the streaming wars, bro. Because for real, that's crazy, now. bro. If you ever try to stream an MLB game, bro, I can guarantee you you'll look at Sunday ticket and, and direct TV be like, Oh, I'll go ahead and go back to direct TV. It's much easier, bro. Like I'm dead serious. <laughs> like what? That's why I do, I do not talk about baseball, bro, because like trying to find the games, especially not living in Chicago, is some of the most stressful shit I've ever done in my life. I bet. Yeah, I bet. Because, hey, NBA has done well. And they, they've they been leading the charge in that. Hopefully these other yeah. leagues can can jump on board and get it right for the for the for, get it right for your consumers. Come on now. Y'all want to make this bad? I know. That's what I'm saying. If the the harder you make the level of entry, the more likely people are saying, "Hey, man, fuck it." I can listen. I can because I can tell you what. There's a Facebook group that streams every damn game. I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> let them live. Let them live. I'm gonna tell you where to find it, but I'm gonna tell you it's out there. That's all I'm gonna say. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. For real, though. Uh, but now. yeah, man. <laughs> you got anything left, bro? Before we go? No, nah, bro. I would just go. Uh, well, she. Hey. Let's have a great day. Make sure y'all get ready. Enjoy these holidays. We I was downstairs sipping on my Bombay and coloring room with my kids. So go do something with y'all kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Happy holidays, everybody. We'll see you guys on Christmas Eve covering Bears games on a Saturday, which is weird, bro. It's on a really real. weird. But, uh, all right, man. <laughs> go ahead and give them the socials. Let's get up out of here, brother. All right, y'all. If y'all want more from me and C-Dub, hit us up. At Shy Bulls Podcast. If you want more from my guy Hayes, hit him up on all social media platforms at CEO Hayes. We inching closer to that 10K, but we ain't quite there yet. So if you haven't done so, go do it and subscribe to Chicago Bulls Central for my boy. We need that 10K, man. Come on now. Come on, man. You already know we need that 10K. And the celebration when we hit it is going to be ridiculous. But with that being said, make sure you follow us collectively at Shy Bear Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail for our mailbag episodes, which are on Fridays, which we also got to try to get in a pregame now on Friday or Saturday morning, <laughs> at least. We'll figure yeah, that out know. with the number to do so, 773 773- Two four two nine three three six. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. We out this mug. Bear down, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.